Okay. So, I wrote it backwards. Shit. I'm going to explain it to you as best I can and hope that you are all dyslexic like me. What I am doing, I used to be a cross country runner in high school and I would run near around three to eight miles a day, sometimes more because coach would tell us we were running five, come to find out it was way more than that. So we'd have to run it in the same amount of time, blah, 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 long story for another therapy session. Okay. So, um, my second Bible is, um, Jim Six's Complete Book of Running, um, published by Random House, whatever. I have two copies. You can find them at half price books, fairly cheap, or buy it new or rent it from the library. I think he wrote it during the running boom in the 80s. He started off really fat, okay? I think, yeah, okay. So, let me try to explain this to you. What we have up here is how I know I'm going to be able to lose the weight I want to lose in the uh, allotted time. Um, so, the first numbers and figures, and this is on his chapter called Getting Thin. Now, this is also not only a test to see if I can actually lose the weight, but if I do stick with the program, is his method valid? I mean, can one really lose this amount of weight given the instructions given to you, I mean, given the calculations that he says? Um, on page, let me find it here. Oops, I hope I didn't get in the shot. Okay, whatever page. But anyways, let's see if I can explain it to you. The, um, first number is, this is the amount of calories one would eat in a day. How many calories you write your desired weight right here, then multiply it by how many calories that takes to maintain that weight, which would be 1,800 calories. Then you write how many miles you're going to run. That's 8 miles. I'm going to run 8 miles times 100, whatever the 100 means, and 800. Then you add it together to get 2,600. Okay? And then you subtract it by the amount of calories you're actually going to eat. And then you get this number right here, 2,100. Then you multiply it, I mean, then you divide that number, 2,100, by this number right here, 3,500, to get 1.6 roundabout. And um, 1.6 this is how many days it's going to take for you to lose one pound. So it's going to take me basically a day and a half to lose one pound. So you multiply it by how many pounds you need to lose, which is 48, or want to lose, and you get 76. That's a 6, not a 0. Don't be fooled by my dyslexic backwards attempt at handwriting. So it's going to basically take me about 76 days of it. I don't even, I'm not even, sh I think I'll look good at, you know, 135. So who knows? But still, um, it's just, if I run, here's the hypothesis. If I run 8 miles a day and eat 500 calories per day and do this, um, and I actually do this, will I actually be able to lose the weight? I mean, because why do diets fail? Do diets fail because people are inconsistent, or do diets fail because the diet just sucks, you know? And, um, I guess my beer and brownie diet is is really sucking because it's not helping me keep it off. I mean, if you want to go the easier route, you can do what Lindsay Lohan, Nicole Richie, and the Olsen twins do, smoke cigarettes and, um, and snore cocaine. I mean, I'm sure that would be a lot easier than having to starve yourself and run a lot. But also, I think at the end, I'll feel better about myself. And, whoops, two did. See, it's already coming off. It's already coming off. So, um, just keep watching and see what, see what happens.